Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and it has been a really busy week. What with the IGCC happening on Thursday, I've got a darts match to prepare for on Monday. I was not able to make a tricky question for Friday, but I did promise a tricky question every single weekday up until your exams. So I found this one in my archives. It's a mad ass maths question. It's a trigonometric equations question, which is what I think is the most common exam question on the Edexcel spec. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you next week. Okay, uh, trig equations. This one looks juicy. Right, we'll take this and we'll multiply it to the other side, which will give me um, 6 tan squared x minus 6 tan x is equal to 2 minus, and that's going to be 3, and sec squared is 1 plus tan squared. Great, so let's multiply out. To get 2 minus 3 mm, minus 3 tan squared x, let's bring them all over to one side and we'll get 9 tan squared x minus 6 tan x and that's minus 1, bring it to this side, plus 1 equals 0. Okay, let's factorise that. Uh, that's quite a nice, neat factorization. Um, it will be tan, 3 tan x minus 1, all squared. Lovely. And that equals 0, which means that tan x is equal to 1 over 3. And that means that x is equal to tan to the minus 1 of 1 over 3 is 0 0.322 and then the second solution for tan is plus pi which is 3.463 Okay, great. That's that part done. Okay, part two, um, we're going to need to use the double angle formula here, or the compound angle formula. So we have cos of 3 theta minus 60 is equal to cos of 3 theta plus 30. Uh, what does that give us? So that gives us cos theta cos 60 plus, so we always swap the sign over for cos, sine 3 theta sine 60 is equal to cos 3 theta um, cos 30 minus sine 3 theta sine 30. Okay, great. Um, next, let's use the um, exact values that we know. So we know that cos 60 is a half. We know that sine 60 is root 3 over 2. And over here, we know that cos 30 is root 3 over 2. And here we know sine 30 is a half. Okay, let's bring the um, the sines onto one side and the coses onto another. So bringing the sines onto one side and factorizing at the same time, we have root 3 over 2, lots of sine on this side, and then plus a half on that side, sine theta. And bringing the coses over to this side, we have root 3 over 2 already over there. And when we come across, we're going to have minus a half. And all that's multiplied by cos 
free feet. Oops, that should be free feet, sorry. Okay, um, and then we can uh, divide both sides by cos free theta and divide both sides by uh, root three over two plus a half. So that will give us tan free theta on this side. And over here, actually, sorry, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna multiply everything through by, um, by two. Uh, so that will give me root three minus one all over root three plus one. Okay, uh, now we take the inverse tan of that. So I think I need my calculator for this. Um, we will do shift tan of root three minus one over root three plus one. And we get one over 12 pi. Um, but actually, this question is in degrees. Whoops. Um, so let's just uh, swap it over by dividing by pi and times it by 180. So 15 degrees. Okay, great. Um, and obviously, for tan, we add 180. Uh, so that is 195 as well. Okay, um, and then let's see what happens when we divide through by three. We get five and we get 65. And just checking the range again, it's up to 180. Okay, so it's up to 180, so that means that three theta is up to 540. So actually, I should have added another pi, uh, another 180 here to make 375 because that is still within the 3 feet of range. Dividing that through by 3 is going to give me 125. So these are my three solutions. Beautiful.